missions and important. everything. And so, so people sort of like delayed their games, but then they didn't have enough time to play all their games. So they're like, there was a lot of like unplayed games in in the tournament. So uh, the sort of like captain of the Swedish team just basically picked guys by what he had watched during the tournament rather than actually go for, by any sort of like <laughs> results. So this was like one guy that got left out. I was a little bit salty because he was like uh, four and two in the tournament, and I was like, he, because he had actually played all his games, uh, he was like at the top. But he wasn't chosen <laughs> and stuff like that. It was it was a little bit. All right, let me a little bit post off. this on Facebook. Yeah. I normally don't post the, my streams on Facebook, but I know a lot of people have been following there also. So hopefully, hope, hopefully, after yeah, like fair. a couple times, they just follow me, so that way I can just go back to posting in, in Discord only. I don't want to spam Facebook with every single match. I will have the YouTube playlist also. All right, so if you want to talk about deck list real quick. So, we see Bill's decklist, he's on Lion Splash, and it's all, yet again sort of like a super aggressive style. He runs Charge rather than Against the Waves, and he runs the, uh, of course, the Charge Burden, and he runs Ancestor Strength and Legion of One from Lion, so he can basically just pump, 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 whenever oh, he wants to. Oh, this is the super aggro deck? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. He also, of course, he has the Feralingus. Like he can, he can, he can basically just go from nothing to a My million. My ancestor strength needs a Shigenta, right? A that's the, that's the um, yeah, only yeah. requirement. Yeah. It doesn't need to copy a Shigenya. Hey, what's up, Shigenya. But you know, it, I mean, it's Phoenix. They have Shigenyas all, all right, over the so place. So while uh, Tenerim, Tenerim is my co-caster. Everyone, everyone here. Little pre echo on Tenerim. Let me uh, let me see what's up. Uh, he should be fine. My settings are a little bit awkward. There we go. I haven't That's streamed fair. in a little in a, in a in a second. All right, there we go. The the card I'm mostly surprised by is. Oracle of Stone at three copies. In you got a cycle. You got a cycle for these ancestor strengths, man. Oh, wait, oh, and then you pitch guidance yeah, and he to the also ancestors. Run... It's cute. That's cute. Yeah. I I think guidance of the ancestors is. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's very good. Expensive. Uh, and then let's see. Looking at Woodwind's deck, um, pretty standard for what we're used to from Woodwind. He does have a one X fiery madness. Interestingly enough. He doesn't. He doesn't run any hope tattoos either. He runs tattoo. Yeah, and he's over the cho tattoos. chosen to play three let goes. Oh, I, when I was playing Scorpion, I I definitely agree with this. I think playing calling in favor is actually sucks. <laughs> like unless I stole a, a talisman, I always felt like I wanted to let go. <laughs> uh, it's just like the the deck is just Fair. so like so like mana intensive that you just need you just sort of prefer the efficiency. Uh, yeah. Any anything else uh, that's crazy? Uh, I see nope. Kudaka in uh, on Dynasty side. One uh, X Shiori, zero Shoju. Nope, oh, nope, I'm sorry, he's at the top. Shoju. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at S's and I'm looking for Shoju, but he's at the top. Um, <laughs> Woodwind's still playing Yunako, a card that many many Scorpion players have cut. Ah, uh, I see. It's okay. He's playing. He's playing three Maybe. Yunakos and three Kudakas. That's a lot of fours. Yeah, I mean, he he actually runs three Ornit fans and three Fine Katanas and two Bansai. So he, he has, has some, buffs. some. Yeah, he can. He yeah, he can push for for breaks if he if he needs to. That's that like the most Scorpion just go the really heavy heavy control routes and don't have that. Right. Uh, yeah, I told them to start. The way, I told them to start because uh, uh, so the World Cup is under a time limit. So oh, uh, I, I actually right. completely forgot about this because I'm so used to Discord League. The reason, because not everyone knows like the whole planning process and like wh where I came up with these are these rules are, are are all arbitrary. I came up with all this on my own, so people people can say you know arbitrary everything, and because it is uh, the arbitrary time limit that I came up with was due to scheduling reasons. It was brought up to me that you know, not you know, especially with these cross-global games, 
you don't want to be stuck in a game for two hours. This gives you, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to fix that kibosh. I don't know what's actually, what's actually wrong. I haven't changed any settings. Um, but the, it's basically just so you have a, a set amount of time that, that the match is going to be. That, that's really all it is. Oh, that's cool. And then I made 45 minutes. Like, I just think it's super hard if you're playing at a reasonable pace to time out at 45 minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I, I can see that. I, I don't think that, because I'm a that's slow fair. player. Yeah, I think I think 45 time, minutes but... is actually too long, but I'm also a very fast player. <laughs> so I thought I thought 45 minutes... Like, this yeah. is actually a 90-minute match, right? And then there's also some latency in between passing of priority and stuff. So, realistically, this is actually about 100, and 100 minutes of time in terms of, like, actual real time. Yeah. So that should be plenty. That's the, you know, the, the length of a... Cote, of a of the Kote finals. All right. Uh, this game is actually pretty fucking furious going on here. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this. I saw Legion of One and a Bonsai. But and encountered by a Bonsai and a fine katana from. Well, it's on it's on pilgrimage, right? So this is a huge advantage for for Woodwind. He just has to he just has to only lose by four. We yes. saw we see Path of Man and wait uh, walking the way get picked up by the Shrine Maiden. Not the most Aggressive Shrine Maiden. Yeah. Let's we can look here. for a charge target uh, here. Yeah, there's, there's actually only two assassinations in Woodwind's deck, so I'm guessing he actually hasn't pulled one or the one. Uh, otherwise, I imagine that Tekinia would be at w the bottom. Would you, though? Like, you, you <laughs> right can now. just save the assassination for something with fate, right? You, it, like, if I, mean, I have assassination here, I, I, I save it for the very last action because I'm not getting any value other than the single turn. Because, especially on Pilgrimage. If this was a different province, maybe maybe you see the assassination fired faster, right? Oh, maybe. Uh, double Shrine Maiden. He's now back to breaking again. And uh, we know he actually pulled one Path of Man here. Oh, that's... Yeah. Uh, Woodwind oh, for, is playing. Yeah. Four shame is so good game. against Mint. I, I didn't re realize this thing had two glory. No, that's actually. S yeah, that's really that four, that four shame. Lot. That four shame is perfect, right? So, so this is like classic Scorpion bend, but don't break, right? You just you just let your opponent yeah. basically bury themselves. Yeah. Although these shrine maidens, you Except know, the shrine maidens basically drawing two. Being two for ones really strong. Both both drew two cards, although they're not the most impactful cards. And they did mill a Ningyo. Yeah. Ningyo is incredibly good against Scorpion. It doesn't have any glory, and it keeps coming back. And it's there's no way for Scorpion to kind of like deal with it. Yeah. Uh, I imagine we're gonna see some sort of conflict. Probably a, factor a here sneak would be pretty good. Oh no! He just he just runs uh, a huge cunning like magistrate mean? out. What ring do yep. you go for here? That's. I think you would go political water. Uh, yeah, water. political water, and then you stand there yeah. for military. It's elemental fury. I didn't even yeah. look at the provinces because I'm just so used to. What? Let's uh, let's uh, let's quickly take a look at these provinces because we're. Kuramori, elemental fury, meditations, and trench. Wait, so he's playing and... Kuramori in the row? Gardens. Yeah. Uh, Assu assu assuming he's not playing Entrenched so. in the row, it's Korea Mori in the row. Um, playing Meditations also... I I'm really surprised to not see Upholding Authority. I think Upholding Authority is a very strong province. There's been just been many games where I've won. Like, uh, I was playing against my Unicorn friend the other day, and he hit Upholding Authority, and he's like, well, this sucks, and after I I, I activated it, I uh, I looked at his hand, and he had two cavalry Reserves in his hand, and I'm just like, oh, this is, this is insane. This is, like, the best card... You, you, like you, you, you play that in in like what, uh, Scorpion or Dragon? I was trying. I, I was playing uh, Keeper Dragon. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. Wow, that's. Uh... Yeah, upholding authority is great. Like, wow, three Shrine Maidens hits. This one only hits one card, and Mills and Mills two charges have gone. Oh no no! Only one charge. I see. I see. A one charge and the second Ningyo. Like, he did. He did draw th triple Maiden, but he also like mill milled some important cards. But I guess it's the same thing as if they were the, yeah. on the bottom of your deck. 
Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna see an Earth conflict. Uh, if he has Seeker Cash, it's gonna be a problem. He, he wants to. He wants to hit the other. He wants to hit the um, Shameful here. Yeah, for sure. Does he run any political books? Um, Curlis has supernatural storms, right? Yeah, well, is there anything yeah, tank, tank, in play? So like, Mantis uh, Tankian jump is, is one, and then you just use Box to play it twice. Oh, I mean, he, he, I mean, he hits Cash, so if Woodwind didn't have the assassination, he sure does now. Interesting. Uh, I guess Earth, Earth's pretty good here. Um, you could c set up water for next turn then, because you're going to have the Keeper. The walking the way, finding the yeah. Keeper. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you just, uh, like... I don't think you try and break this as Curly's. I mean, Curly's it, it would here. be so hard for him uh, to do I think, so. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a double pass. Yeah, a double, double pass is Curly's army passes, so Curly's army won. Uh, and he gets to trigger Earth. That's okay, Yeah, that's I fine. I mean, it's definitely, definitely an advantage. Uh, on the plus side for Scorpion here, he has found a very, very farmable province, Elemental Fury. <laughs> I, th I imagine we're going to see Scorpion just poking that over and over, unless he actually wants to try and go for uh, aggressive... I wonder how comfortable some of the teams oh, are wow. going to be um, actually communicating with each other, because because I'm, I'm following kind of Magic's team format. I have put in the rules that you are allowed to communicate with your teammates during your game. But I don't huh. know how many people are comfortable in that kind of setting. Ki yeah, yeah. I, I'm just kind of cu I'm kind of curious. I, 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 I imagine there, there there might be some like uh, spectating over on and then to talking in the appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can you can do on, especially through Discord. You can just share a screen and then just be in a call with with people. Um, that's the easiest way to kind of I don't know, kind of like talk about a game. Yeah, we did see a spice at court from Curtis Army here, and he discard let go and forged edict. Having the edict is huge there. Yeah, the edict is huge. The let go is where did that cloud really, come realistically from? going to do anything? Oh, the Earth Ring. So that that Earth Ring that uh that last conflict was actually really huge by Curtis Army, right? With the spies at court, he gets Woodwind with three cards yeah. there, so he has a huge hand advantage right now, but is suffering on board really hard. Yeah, but this is a very good like fill the board yeah. turn for Curly's army like yeah, Ethereal Dreamer, Suki, and Chiba Tetsu. It's perfectly all right, and he gets to draw more cards from uh, Forgotten Library. What um, what He's do you think about Keeper of Water choice instead of Seeker of Air? I, I'm I, a lot of the top Phoenix players like Travis and uh, Shiba Inu have kind of gravitated towards the Seeker, more aggressive style. Especially in this Curlis' deck, it feels like Seeker of Air would have been a stronger choice, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe. I mean, sometimes you want you really want the Keepers for, mm. like, like... I find Keepers are better in, like, in like more of a control strategy where you're trying to, you know, maintain favor, stuff like that. I mean, Curlis' army is just trying to smash shit, right? Like, you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially, especially my fair, ancestors' that's strength I mean, costs I... one, guidance costs one. Like the extra, the extra economy from Seeker of Air, I think, is stronger. But I could definitely see see merits to both. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, I mean, I know Lion has sort of like started gravitating towards uh, Seeker Void just for just to have the yeah, extra. Yeah, Seeker Fate is good. Who knew? <laughs> We were uh, we were talking yeah. about read or about running running another co uh, like a corset tournament like later, uh, just it'd be the world's meta basically, like kind of a kind of a run back on yeah. worlds now that everyone kind of understands a lot more about the game, and see what actually is is good in that meta. You know what I mean? I think. Oh, I agree. I think lion's good. really good. However, I, like good I, I built I built a, a dragon crab deck that Kingsley had not even thought of. And after like looking at it, he's like, "Oh, like oh. this is probably better in like the more modern L5R in quotation marks for modern." Fair. Yeah, I I I played a uh, during Worlds last year. I played a really really weird uh, dragon crab deck. Oh, you didn't? Uh, oh no, you played against. Like... Okay, I was like, I thought you played Lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... 
No, 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 no. I, I played Lion, so I played against him, and he was some sort of like low bid watch commander honor choke dragon. And I was like, this doesn't really work for you, does it? And yeah, I mean, it was it was an interesting game, but uh, uh, the splash man. that I came up with was three Reaper Reeves, two Mountain Does Not Fall, and one Jade Tatsubo, which gives you a seventh weapon for any time master. And gives you uh, st mountains, and then I was playing 3x charge to synergize the reprieve. So fair, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, in in words, meta this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was saying three charge, three fury. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Who, who knew charge and fury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually good. yeah. Kingsley was saying that dragon at worlds wasn't even playing any charges. So. Uh, that's well, he said he said the like like true. his group, right? Like his his group that came up with the dragon phoenix deck. So we see right, a goblin sneak enough. take Curlis's last right. fate. Another reason that you kind of want your um, seeker fate is you know goblin sneak is running around a lot a lot now. It's in it's in all, almost all scorpion decks. It's in most lion decks, and it's actually in some unicorn decks most, too. Most uh, unicorn. Yeah, most unicorn decks as well. Actually, from from my experience, I don't hang out much in the unicorn chat. So I yeah, yeah, I'm I'm just going based on what I played against. Fact, but... Yeah, and we're currently having a five to three in military, and the rumor monger is winning. No, and... there's there's only two two commentators, Kratos. It's it's myself. It's myself and um and Tenorim. Is is Tenorim still there... echoing? Alright, so the um, Oracle of Stone pumps up Shibatetsu. It is on Kore Mori, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's used it yet. Or he might... Oh, I actually think he used it to swap the conflict type. And he bins a Fuchichu with the... Uh, that could set up away. my Ancestor Strength on a Water Ring. Yeah, very true. Uh, one thing that's actually pretty interesting to note here... Uh, Curtis Army is over halfway through his deck already. That is something to keep to keep in mind. Um, he could just randomly end up in a spot where he decks himself. Uh, yeah, for sure. Troy Mori has not been triggered. Oh, he finds Kanjo District. That's what? Uh, this is why does he put it madness. there though? I'm surprised. He, I'm surprised he puts I it mean, on Elemental Fury. Right? Like isn't it isn't it better uh, isn't it better to put it onto um let's see what are his provinces. I, I would put it on manicured. I would put it on manicured or or Kurori Mori. Yeah, or even entrenched if you're No no no, it's on stronghold, right? Because you know. he has Kurori Mori in his row. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like fair, fair enough, I would yeah. put it I would put it on yeah. um and manicured or onto Kurori Mori, I think. If I want like an elemental, it, it's just a, it's just a, still a farmable attack. Oh yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I I guess he didn't want to get rid of Forgotten Library on. Yeah, Kingdom I guess Rido. that's fair. Th that's why I would put it on manicured, right? I guess maybe if Sadaka is there, but then I guess you put it on meditations, which is also not, which is also better than Elemental Fury. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's we fair. see Kondra District being used. We see Path of Man firing. Yeah, yeah, from we knew the, he had that. Um, from the Shrine Maiden. Do we? I, we yeah, we're in the we're in the pause window right out. now. Um, Woodwin has priority with Path of Man being f attempted, and we do see an edict. Yeah, I don't mind that actually. Um, like you know, one charge is already gone. Ch char, I think charge charge is the other big card basically. Oh, he says he has a second Path of Man. Yep. 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 Uh. Full on bulls All right, to the wolves. So he almost had he almost got the four fate there, but Widwin put two of it down. So we're gonna see an attack here on the water ring. Now that he has Path of Mand, he can probably break pilgrimage with my ancestor's strength. Yes. Uh he has one my ancestor's strength in the bin though. Yeah, and he's already used his stronghold. Yes. I would be re yeah, I I would not want to attack a new province. If you hit um shameful display, it's so miserable against cunning magistrate. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Like that's, that's actually that's, like that's the, the biggest thing. Cunning magistrate is 
so insane against these these uh, event based pump decks. Um, spe- it's a great example against Lion, for instance, where they just do all these things, and then you play Cutting Magic straight away with Scorpion, and then all of it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah Lion just needs to not pump a single guy. Yeah, he needs yeah. To, like, have a lot of dudes just spread out. I mean, it's fine if you actually have, if you could have saved Kanjo for just removing the Magistrate. That's true, I guess. yeah. It, that would have been. Uh, I, on the other hand, oh, he does have he just the third so Ninkyo. That's so insane. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's he's drawn a lot, but like seeing he, three in your top yeah, twenty is, is pretty is pretty it's pretty, pretty strong. He could I guess he could have had that in his opening hand, right? So that's that's yeah, that's probably. fair. Oh, he passes, yeah, he says so had that one from the start. Here. So we're seeing we're, we're seeing a break here. Breaks pilgrimage, grabs a keeper, maybe grabs two keepers. From the, yeah, two keepers from these uh, from these um, walking the ways. He's played walking the way four times this game, <laughs> and we see oh the really really strong play here by Woodwin. Uh, I mean it's it's nothing special, but it is it's a good play. He moves the honor stats from Suki over to Feral Ningyo. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because yep. he has two room among strong, to play. Uh, just, just strong play to, you know, using your cards on board. Yeah. And now he really wants to get rid wow, of Wow, we have 50, 51 viewers. This <laughs> no, is, yeah. These are like the numbers I was getting near, when I was streaming Paris. Uh, you know, w welcome people. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to, you know, watching L5R, uh, we're just kind of co commentating the World Cup games. This is the very first World Cup game that's being played between Germany and Cyprus. And we have uh, the A players, I believe, Widwin and Bill Curlis Army. Yeah, you might want to explain Oh yeah, sure, so so each team... Necessarily mean the yeah, sorry, sorry, so each team, team has three... <laughs> has, um, it's a 3v3 format. Each team had to submit three different main clans. And then each team submitted a player to sit in a certain seat. And this way it randomized who plays who in a way that that way people don't meta against each other. So, you know, so there's A's, B's, and C's. The A player will always play the opposite A player, so on and so forth. And this is... No, no uh, Sumatero, 100% it's not. Like, I, I've had viewers from, like, Mittens gave me four viewers. <laughs> 55 viewers is very, very above the norm. I think when I'm streaming by myself and I'm, I am the, the lone streamer, I get about 30. Uh, you know, 30 is about is about the number that I hit pretty consistently when when it's just me. Um, but 50 50 is pretty sweet. Uh, you know, I'm I'm glad people are coming to check this out. Uh, I think this event's just really cool. Nice. Uh, we see Curtis Arm here not defend, uh, which is so we see a fan bold. come out. I imagine we're gonna see. That means we have a double fan, I guess. Yeah, Woodwind does have the pumps. Yeah. Is Bill just going to try and display? I guess Woodwind would need the third edict. Did he just like... Did he just like... Was, he, was this just like hubris where he thought that, that Woodwind didn't have the fans? Yeah. Oh, this court... This court I, oh no, I wait. Court so. games are going to stop by the room no longer. Roommonger just moves yeah. moves this over to the to the goblin stink. Yep, and that's what we see. Yeah. Young Roommonger is a very versatile card. Yeah, it's it's a really good two drop. Like the stats are pretty on point. The ability is pretty on point. Yeah, so, like, yeah, it's, it's just a solid, a, it's just a solid, solid. It, it's especially good in Scorpion, right? Like the Scorpion, I think, is one of the clans that would. Like, I don't think Rumor would be nearly as good in, say, Dragon or something, or, or, you know, maybe even Lion. Although that'd be pretty sweet with Rumor and Lion. You could use the Honor General Honor to move from Honor General to someone else. That'd be sweet. So we see a court games to dishonor this Ishikin initiate, which then makes Cunning Magistrate blanket, and he breaks Conjure District. Wow, really big win here for Woodwind. And because Curlis played a character, yeah. he can now void a character. Although <laughs> he had to pick, you know, choose his poison here. He chooses to void Suki with five, uh, what two, four, six characters with fate on them. 
Yeah. Um, I think he kind of needs to do. He has to be careful on where he is. Again, if he hits shameful, he can be he he can get get screwed by the favorable ground plus magistrate. Uh, he's actually in a pretty poor position now that he lo loses Kanjo. He I don't know Tadaka. why he didn't defend that. Like, but uh, obviously defending, oh, yeah, yeah. obviously Tadaka defending is it is, is stronger, right? Like, I think he, I think he gaffed on the court games. He thought the court games plus the initiate would be enough. Uh, I think, yeah, I don't think you should yeah. have put, put like probably a keeper in front. Yeah, a keeper would have been enough. <laughs> Uh, Widwin is playing meditation still. Some Unless... scorpions have have switched to um, up, upholding authority, or abandoning all. Oh yeah, I, I have seen that also. I I don't think it's that great, but mm. yeah, this is uh, he's not going to win this conflict. He's not going to break. Well, jo Joe, you're you're both you you and Lenath are both wrong. Shrine Maiden is very easily the most powerful conflict character in the game. <laughs> like it's actually it's actually absurd how how insane that card is. Shrine Maiden is really, really <laughs> yeah, it's just really like good, yeah. yikes. I don't know if they thought that one through when they made her. Um, Shri <laughs> Shrine Maiden is definitely the, like just the best it's conflict character. I would say the second best conflict character is probably Tattooed Wanderer. No, no, Shrine Maiden is not just efficient. Shri Cutting Magistrate can be cloud the minded. Pretty easily. There's not that much uh, I want to cloud in Scorpion anyway. You can just cloud Cunning Magistrate, and then it's just an over. It's just a, it's just a o over expensive two two. Yeah, um, Cunning Magistrate is. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't even think I don't think any of the more than one cost conflict characters even crack my top five. I would put all one cost characters above anyone else just because they cost one. Like fair. it's just so efficient. Like I think I think Tattooed Wanderer, Shrine Maiden, Steward of Law, Uchi Wayfinder, and Skirmisher are like my top five. Yeah, I I mean I'm a bit biased, but uh, I really like the, the, the Reservist the one. Yeah, like, I, I can see Reservist being better than Skirmisher, yeah. um, just based on the deck that it's in. Like like those are you know what I mean? Like that's five and six right there for me. Yeah. The, he, he's he's uh, he's actually just a really solid one cost character. He's he's really nice to have in Lion. Although I, like most lions, wish he did more than just be strong in military, which Lion. Yeah, really Cunning Magistrate really costs well. like five times as much as Steward of Law does, Joe. I I hope it's better than Steward of Law in, in, against you. What? That's <laughs> that's like saying Fate Worse Than Death is better than X Event because it costs four. We do see double Black Null artists get flipped. Alright, so we see Tadaka one fate. I don't like this buy. Uh, Woodman has not played a fate worse than death. No. And he has well, he's gonna, draw, he's gonna draw five. He he's gonna draw six this turn with the storehouse, so... Um, if he hasn't found one yet... Yeah, uh, this Tadaka is, is going to get exploded. Like, there, there's, there's just... Uh, like Woodman also plays no a swim. Way, so I, if, I if uh, Bill bids low again, Woodwin can swim this Tadaka. Woodwin just passes. I don't think Bill. I don't think Bill bids low. Well, here. Bi I think Bill bid low last turn. He bid two last turn. Yeah, but that was because it was had like a million cards yeah, and had fair. a library out. Joe says presumably he charges the bird gets Tadaka back. To be fair, he uh, Bill Bill has already seen one charge and he's you know. Both players bid four. Ran <laughs> very uh, very awkwardly. Yeah, I don't know uh, about the four bid from Woodwind. I think I would have just slammed five there. Worst case, you get, so worst case scenario, opponent bids one, you go to three, and then you box back to four. That's such a safe spot to be with an honored and dishonored character on board. So dr yeah, that's, Dreamer that's triggers fair. on the fire uh, ring. Presumably going to attack that first with uh, probably attack Shameful. Yeah, you just attack Shameful with you? this Dreamer, and if Woodwind fires it, then you don't care. Oh, the other one, the other one's meditations. Never mind. Duh. I keep yeah, thinking it's upholding authority and, uh, because uh, smash it. I, I I keep playing in scorpions that have upholding authority. Um, yeah, no, Eric, is, uh, uh, one center is in the bin, and I trying to I don't know. Let's see how many. Curl I think Curl's is playing two. Uh, let's uh, two see. Centers, I can yeah. tell you that right now. He is playing. He's playing. A, he's centers. playing one x all for all, all and nothing. Also, oh, I just realized this. 
we, we were saying Curlis is going to deck. It's actually even more insane that he drew three Shrine Mains. He's playing 45 cards on his Conflict deck. Wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, wow. That means... Holy shit. That means he's he's gone through, like, a lot 30. of fucking he's gone cards. He's gone through 30, right? Uh, so, like, he's just gone through... He's gone through... Uh, through five extra cards. So, like, if, if he was playing playing the, the standard 40-card deck, he would only have 10 cards left in his deck right now. So... Yeah, like, he's he, he's gone, he's gone through nine more cards. Woodwind just let this break. He just doesn't give a player. shit about this meditations. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah. I, I, I like, he, he absolutely does not want that, even, that province there anymore. Now, now Curlis is in this yeah, awkward Neon spot of attacking Shameful and Seeker Cash over and over again. And that is yep. not a great feeling. It's going to suck. So we do way. see the Rumormonger firing instead of uh, instead of honoring Tadaka, it moves it to the Ethereal Dreamer. Yep. As you would. I would have considered obviously. dishonoring one of Woodwind's characters instead, if um, like dishonor the Rumormonger or or dishonor the Cunning Magistrate. That way, if Woodwind wants to use the Rumormonger, at least it's a lot less efficient. And it still, it still gives you a yeah, stat, that's, that's right? A so, like, you just dishonor the Cunning Magistrate for a stat. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a really fair point. It's just uh, like it's just like small things like that I that you don't think just... of when you're actually playing. You're like, oh, cool, I'm going to use the firing, and then after it happens, you're like, shit, I forgot this guy's in play. Yeah, I, I have, yeah, I, I have, <laughs> I have done that, like, quite a few times. I, I, no, no, I, I, as Lion, I've done like, all right, I'm going to buy this guy, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, gonna to buy Honor General, and then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do that. And I buy my little guy, and they buy Rumormonger, and then I think like... Yeah, you're like, shit, I should have bought this General first. <laughs> um, yeah. Against uh, against Heinzel, I remember I was playing him against him once, and he had Miyako and Rumormonger, and he, he Miyako'd, and I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to dishonor this Tattoo Wanderer. And then he's like, Rumormonger, move it to your Yokuni. I'm like, shit, this is something that can happen. Yeah, I think I did that in a cup game actually. <laughs> I think I did that in like Sounds season four right. or something. Yeah, uh, and we see no defenders from Curtis Army Mori. again. Uh, th this, this, oh, there's the charge on Fushicho. Oh, he can he can Kore Mori this Fair to enough. water and gain a fate if he wants. Yeah, that's assuming he actually. Look, it, it's a know, fucking 6-6 six, six that this, just showed up. How, how's he gonna lose this? Fate worse than death? I guess. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh... It, Curlis should prob... Wait, he, he passed. Why did he not use Kuroi Mori? Maybe because he wants to... Go water now and he has pulled the Ningyo Sure, again. I guess. That's fair. I don't know, I like I like money a lot. Oh, 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 Eric says he, he oh, yeah, Mori yeah. DeMille. I missed, I missed the mistake. Oh, yeah, Woodwin is initiating a political conflict. He uses Mori to switch it to, to military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fair enough. Thanks, chat. This is, this is why I like having chat around. Chat chat corrects me yeah, for being stupid. Mori is a very yeah. powerful province. Yeah. It just, it just, it, it yeah, just shows I, you how insane yeah, Shameful is, actually. Yeah, I severely dislike Kuromori in the road. Though. Yeah, um... Like, as Maybe it's if, a matchup if, depending, if I right? Like, I think against like, Dragon and, like, certain clans, you should put it in the row. Against Dragon, it's not that great in the stronghold. Whereas in the row, it can be a lot stronger, yeah, yeah, like, that, that, as a surprise factor and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's fair, but, like, as, as a Lion player, if I ever see Kuromori in the row, I go, in the row, I go, like, yeah. I'm just gonna not gonna go here ever again. Yeah, and yeah. I'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Um, Talon Myriad uh, looks like Curlus Army's main targets for this Fushi show, uh, presuming Tadaka doesn't leave play this turn, is a basically is probably Evil Grandma or um, Suki. I assume I assume he'll bring back Evil Grandma. I assume this uh, Tadaka is going to get slammed in the face by a. Curlus has chosen death. to pass his oh, no, his opportunity. Actually... What do you make of this? Oh, he knows. He knows. Yeah, he's but who cares? Use Fushi Show to bring him back. Yeah. yeah I, I, so, I so that's what I'm saying. So I would, I would, I would want the fate worse than death to happen, because then when Tanaka comes back, he turns it off. 
the the longer you the longer you oh, delay this Very fate worsen death, the worse it's gonna be for you because it's gonna be in a more critical moment. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You also put a bit of pressure on, like, just yeah. Even if he fate worsen death, how much actually does he bring into that conflict if he brings the naive student and uh, initiate? That's actually enough to break. So he has to put up some. I think he just didn't want to attack Seeker well. Gash, is what it was. I think that's a mistake. When he has this board, he has to capitalize on it. He can't just let it die. Alright, a military conflict, all in on Kurumori. Yeah, Cap yeah. swap again. Do you just defend with everything except No, no, except the two characters student? that are dishonored don't contribute. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> That's a pr it's a pretty good card. <laughs> oh come on, he has to have like a uh, cloud of mine in his. Is Woodman right playing now, cloud? Right? Oh, you're talking about Curlus. Oh yeah, he does have cloud. He has, he has yeah, no fate. He has no fate. Three in his day. Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. so the one thing Curlus uh, has has not done very well this game, I think, is is fate management. No, his fate management has been pretty <laughs> terrible. So we do we do see Oracle of Stone being triggered. Oh man, I get triggered right. every time somebody uses Shiva Tetsu when it's not in the conflict. Uh, when the Phoenix pack came out, this was this used to break the game. Jadiel had to rewrite a lot of stuff for Shiva Tetsu. People, if you triggered, it, people would just like randomly trigger it because they could, and it would break the game because it wasn't in the conflict. Yeah. I remember when the Phoenix yeah. pack came out, I, it, it I would just like that. ruin everything. Uh, so Woodwind actually discards the censure and let go here. That's fair, I guess. Yeah, the censure, the censure, the censure is like whatever. We see a storm uh, come out on Tadaka. I imagine. All right, so so there, there's like there's like no world here where with no, you can just play the scorpion. He doesn't even have right. to play a fate worse than death. You don't want a fate worse than death here, right? So if you fate worse than death, then 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 Fushi Show has a great target. You wanna you wanna stagger yeah, that, this that, so Tanaka that dies right. after Fushi Show. So if you have Wave the Scorpion, it's stronger yeah. here. Interesting. Woodwind just chooses not to play anything. So uh, Yeah, that's that's also fine favor, for Woodwind not to he... play anything there. It's it's not as necessary. Yeah, because he he has killed uh, Yeah, Kandu, yeah. So So Evil Grandma comes back as as I predicted. We see the two keepers die. Now the watering again is really important. Yeah. Woodwind has 20 and fate though. I imagine was. Yeah. I imagine like w w whatever Tadaka does this next turn, he's just gonna get slapped back home. If uh, Curtis Army actually finds a dupe of Tadaka, this is no, going to be. No, he finds really a, another awful. Fushi show though. Oh. That's pretty sick. I think he just straight up. I might consider that, right? it, right? Like, that's not a bad idea. No, I'd Because it just brings like, you to knock him back. Uh, <laughs> you won't know. I don't think Especially on two that. fate. Uh, have we seen an assassination from Winwin? I don't believe we have. No, that is going to get assassinated so quickly. Oh, oh, um, he buys Shadow Shaper because he has clouds. Curlis Army has no attachment control. Yeah, right, yeah, I think Winwin is playing true. two clouds. Yeah, yeah, that yes, seems to be the cards. number with Scorpion because of um. Uh, one is in the discard though. I I think he has to have another one, right? There's like no reason for you to buy the Shadow Shaper otherwise. No, they uh, he can't return Ningyo. It's two or less, and all the Shrine Mints have been played. Not that you would right, want to return enough. them. No, that's fair. That's fair. It doesn't do anything. Oh, he can use it on his own characters. Again. I take it back. You can use it. You can use it on Goblin Sneak or oh, Meekin Foreman. That's interesting. Yeah, I'd do it on a Meek. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'd definitely do that on a Meek. So Woodwind bids uh, three to Curlis is one. Then, then steals. So now I can swim is on. So a lot of things, a lot of bad things can happen. I don't know why Woodwind is so scared of, of attacking another province. 
I don't think he cares. Well, like, the other provinces aren't bad, like, like bad, right? Like, Korea Mori can lead to some things that, like, it's just hard to attack, right? Yeah, it, well, the other ones are manicured and... So I would send this cunning at a different province. Maybe he just wants to kill the library. Yes, I think he actually just does want to kill the library. Like, I know I know for sure, like, how annoying library yeah, is uh, when you face... As like, it turns out, no being, being, drawing being an extra it. card every turn is pretty insane. Yeah, you know, you know when library becomes completely insane when you. Yeah, yeah. Then, then you're always you. ju you're doubling your opponent's cards every single turn. It's huge. Yep. So we do see the so he he went with these two initially, swapped the conning, and then went back to these two. We see military water. Yeah. I, that's like so scary to attack water against triple keeper showing. Cloud the mind on the Miyako. So that is one of the clouds down. Um, and then you bow. You can, well, you can bow the manipulator order. if you want. But yeah, I guess this stops the break. I think he's. Yeah, I think he's I just. I think bow he the missed the opportunity or chose not to do it. Because uh, he has pa he has um, walking the ways in his graveyard, which are always about which can always be a bow. Yeah. Uh, Woodwind can't play Edict. Maybe we see a charge here. So he swaps the conflict type. So Woodwind isn't breaking, and I don't think Woodwind can break. Woodwind ha can't play court games, and Woodwind is out of fans, I think. Why can't Tadaka? Play court games? It's a pretty good card. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. And there, uh, of course, that's that 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 that's a, that's, yeah, yeah. That's a card and, and then we see display show yeah. up, which then wins. Cr yeah, and you then get, you get the key. Oh, and you bounce cunning as a I don't know why you attack water there. Oh, wow. I think you're Keeper supposed to attack army. earth there, like, 100% <laughs> of the time. Or or air if you want the fate that badly. Yeah, this is this is keeper army reporting for duty. Well, you can just send, you can just send, is, send evil grandma exactly plus all the did. keepers on void, and you break whatever the hell you want. Yeah, you don't need you to send Yuana too, right? Like, you just, you just send grandma on void with... Or actually... I think this this is super greedy. He's actually trying to bake two provinces. Oh, he's going to try and bake Stronghold this turn also? Yeah, I think that's just way too greedy against Scorpion. Is it about a rally or entrenched? Okay. Uh, entrenched. I don't think he can... I don't think he could, like, I don't think edict he can break that or something? Like, did he just, like, forget Tadaka exists? Maybe. Yeah, we haven't seen a single display all game. You know, Curlis has gone through 35 cards. So we do see a shameful Dishonor's Grandma, Honor's Kadaka. Yeah, I I don't see what he was hoping to accomplish here. I'd, I'd honestly go void with Grandma. You don't even need to send Grandma, keepers. right? Like she, I forgot that she doesn't need to be participating. You can send Yuona plus three. Plus, oh, we see strength in numbers on the Kadaka. Yep, the one X he has uh, in his deck. Strength in numbers is a surprisingly good no, no, card. No, no, I, I, I think strength in numbers is actually um, underrated. I think that card is like legit, legit good. In in a certain type of deck, like, right? It would. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like if it if it if it didn't require attacking, it would. Oh be my god! Yeah, the deck, the card would be insane. Three X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna see recur we're gonna see a, re a recursion of I believe my ancestor strength. We choose a storm instead. Oh, the goblin seek took the fate, so he couldn't what? play in my ancestor strength. Yeah. So storm wow, for that's... three brings. It it, it is right. Enough. He's still breaking right now. Yeah, I mean, but she. I mean, I imagine there's going to be like. Well, you a can't play bonsai or because a of Tadaka. Or uh, yeah, what, what are, it's, it's yeah. such a reasonable card, uh, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's such it's such a oh fiery madness. That's sick. Card. This just it just is Woodman just like not drawn an assassination because he oh so Curlis plays another storm out of hand onto Atsuko. So shameful still breaking. Wow. 
Uh, yeah, Carlos does have uh, another walking the way uh, talent. He has two, actually. Two more. But Box has been used this turn. Those. <laughs> what do you mean two more? He walking has, the yes. way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, walking away. He's yeah, yeah. There would be yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying uh, uh, someone in chat was asking if he has mo another walking the way. So I was saying that he doesn't have any like in the left in the deck, but he could always play them out of the graveyard later on. They're they're basically free bows with, you, with Yona. Yeah, that, that's that's very true. I I was surprised he hasn't used. Well, he one he to uh, he flashbacks storm for instead. I think it's, I think instead of flashing back, yeah, I would have uh, I would have played Storm first. Yeah, uh, I'm also surprised that he didn't just bow something previously when he played. Wait, wait, wait. Deadly Broccoli is this? Or are you fucking watching your own game? What? Deadly. Wait, what? He says I don't XD. I'm. Who is Deadly Broccoli? How fucking stupid can you be? Why would why are you watching your own game? You you know you know this is just going to be a loss, right? Like you're not allowed to to ghost your own game. Deadly Broccoli seems to be Bill Curlis army here. Like this has been like this has been very clear over the listening. course of of leagues and online play. You don't sit there and watch your own game, especially with commentary and us talking strategy about the game. Like, what, in in what kind in what logic is that the correct thing to do? People are fucking stupid, I swear. <laughs> yes, have you? Ha honestly, though, have you met people? Yeah, I, I guess. Like, I mean, I'm gonna let them finish, but regardless of the situation, if if I have to confirm all these things, obviously. But yeah, I I I've I've never seen this broccoli dude in my stream. Yeah, so yeah, I, I don't I don't know who this I don't know who this person is, but based on this response, I don't I don't Eric. That's the problem. Yeah. And so I have to rely on somebody being honest. Yeah, I'm not. Uh... Entirely convinced here. That's that. That's, is it? That's weird. I mean, Tor Toriador has washes. Up. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna talk a bit about the game while yep. you deal with that. So we do see a tattooed wanderer go in with the uh, Earth Ring on Kuromori and. Uh, Curtis Army just defends with Tadaka and wins four to one. So now uh, Tadaka is still online, and uh, Curtis Army is, is gonna grab the favor this turn as well. And the question is, do we see Curtis Army try something? Do we do we try to flip the stronghold? I mean, he can defend with Kadaka here for five political strength, and he can go in with a maximum of four. I mean, he should know what's under the stronghold because the deck lists are open. So there should be, like, he, the only reason to go in here on the stronghold is to uh, deny fate of All the All right, rain, before before guess, people get their pitchforks out, we're we're gonna let the game continue and then we'll, we'll hash everything out. Alright, we do see Curly's uh, army go in on in transposition with uh, four political strength, and we see a five political strength defense from. Uh, We're gonna see the vo here. the evil grandma so, fire here. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I forgot. She yeah, Shugen fire Shugenja home. are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's cool. So political seven to four, and Woodwind passes. We see court games to honor, which is still not. Why does he only have? Why does he only have four? What do you mean? Why? Didn't he have five? Oh, minus one from. Oh, yeah, yeah. As well. Wow. Still. I I I forgot she's actually really, yeah, really, yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atsuko is really insane at breaking strongholds. Uh, Prussia forty-five. There's no actually yeah. set schedule. Uh, 
in terms of games today, I believe this is the only one. Tomorrow, there, I believe there are two games at uh, around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I believe are the games. What do you void here? The Shadow Stopper, or do you want to like try and remove Miyako a turn earlier? I think you just void the Shadow Stopper, right? That's the most stats you can void out. The the. The thing that he just told me in chat makes me 100% certain he's listening to the ch to, to the cast. Because there's no way he should know we were talking about walking the way. Unless he's fucking listening to the game. How f Oh my god. Yeah, like... Somebody's gonna get a talking to. I don't know if any of the people in the chat here yeah. have a... Uh, have heard the Russell Peters skit? Uh, somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. That's what Bill's gonna get. Somebody's gonna get a hurt real bad. If you haven't seen it, you should um, you should go watch that skit. It's excellent. I I might do that afterwards, but uh, I I'm just a bit baffled how how people don't think that that's a thing. It's just they like competitive do. integrity, right? Like. <laughs> Like yeah. if if you're playing a paper event, you, you don't ha you don't sit there and you know your your mates don't sit there and talk to you about the game talk about the game with an earshot of you right like you don't discuss the game with your friends. All right, so we see yeah. uh, was that a duplicate of Yuana? It was. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit surprised that they pitched the Fuji show. I would have probably Just bought, honestly yeah, bought, bought it. it. And then, like, I bought it, and at the end of the turn, I get Tadaka back. Yeah, you kind of need Boom. Tadaka to close this game out, I feel. Because, like, without yeah, Atsuko sure. now, it's really hard to bust. Maybe he just maybe he just thinks he can bust yeah. with uh, my ancestor's strengths. Uh, I think that's yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying maybe that's what he thinks. So we see a liar. We saw the illusionist. Woodwind will pa Woodwind will pass here. I think. I see it. Yeah, steals. We might see the diplomat. Just to get no, you need to keep I, I don't you need to keep faith for fate worse right? Point. Just in case. Oh yeah, that that that, that is definitely true. True. Like he he will he will faith worse than death something here. It's really awkward. It's really awkward um, to charge Sukune in this game also, because uh, against Scorpion, way of the Scorpion just potatoes are. So Widwin bids two to keep swim on. Yeah, uh, I don't think that Curtis Army is winning this turn. If he doesn't win this turn, he's he's in trouble. Okay. Unless he flips another Tadaka. Yeah. Uh, he can't. He can't, uh, he, can't he can't really like. He's about to deck himself as well soon on the conflict side. Uh, what do you go with? So. I imagine we might just see a Solon Scholar single attack, political on entrenched with the firing here. Try and bait a bit of bait the defense, play a ancestor strength from the discard pile or something, and I don't know. Like he, he I, I have a hard time seeing him uh, doing anything really worthwhile other than grabbing a couple of rings this turn. I think honestly, Woodwin has held on to his uh, fate worse than deaths like really well. Woodwin's really, really good at basically holding on to his resources for as long as absolutely possible. Yeah, the, the, the classics. No, like he does it play. more so than almost like he's way more conservative than say I am. Like when I play Scorpion. Why? Why would you even go in here with Yuona? She's a zero. Like you save her to to no no to she's a shugenja block and not lose honor. You can't right? um, my ancestor strength these keepers. Yeah, but he has already gone well, into you, the you, you can color. turn them both into fushi shows. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah, that would be pretty big actually. Yeah. She is now a four. That's okay, I guess. 
What does he even have? Like, how does he? Does he have any? He has a storm in his discard pile. He, he could have Bansai still. Yeah, I mean, he could push quite hard here. Uh, does Does he have a storm? Could he have a storm in hand? Yeah, yeah. yeah he could have a storm in hand as well. Yeah, he could go pretty big here. We'll see. I think. I think. Honestly, think it's a mistake trying to push this. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a bit of a mistake. I think he should have waited for next turn, try and find a few more Shigenias and then pushed political right. with uh, my ancestor strength uh, my ancestor sets Yona to Yona to six six minus two four five. Yeah. It's not the same as Jin. <laughs> so People get set confused, and because because Fantasy Flight has really weird rulings, it sets its base. Yeah, yeah, set base is far, far inferior to just straight up set. Yes, it also it also what infuriates me as a lion player is it does prevent you yep, from it, playing. Yep, it's really dumb actually. It's um, it's a bit of a troll card that Lion got. It's basically <laughs> completely garbage for Lion <laughs> right now. First of all, we have like really shitty targets for it. Second of all, like it's basically only a military buff for us. It basically it's like a legion of one, but it costs one f of our like fate pool instead of removing a fate from a guy. And there's the assassination. That wow, he's actually pretty low on honor now. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. I mean, he was at five. Yeah, base. Yeah, basically, if he, yeah, that, that's the second ancestor strength setting uh, this scholar up. Uh, I think Curly's army might be able to go for potential dishonor win here. Uh, he cannot cancel any event events with uh, the the liar. Otherwise, he he he's in like real honor trouble. He can remove one dishonor with the illusionist. Uh, of course, he can probably just go air, win it uh, with Kadaka or whatever. And yeah, okay, he's fine. He's fine. It's no it's no problem for Woodwin here. He's going. He's probably going to attack air. Oh, I like but I like that. I Eric was saying that set should be called lock or or anything else that doesn't overlap with set base. Hmm. Like just like maybe a different a yeah, different word, probably. right? Or set base is called. Sure, sure. Word. Like like just just set and the set base. Like it's it's like um the difference in wording between steward of law and uh, young harrier. Be dishonored and become dishonored. Wow. He is actually going for it. Bill is going for the military break with a solo solemn scholar on entrenched position. I mean, <laughs> that is. That's ballsy. Ballsy. <laughs> so, Legion of One resolves it again. Um. He still needs he still needs a bonsai. Yeah, he's up by eight, so the magic number is up by eleven. Yes. So he needs a bonsai, he needs Woodwin <laughs> yeah. to not have a council. Or so have he a does bonsai. have the bonsai, but I think Woodwin actually has like an edict because of the wait time on the on the Legion of One. Yeah. But if Woodwin lets this resolve, I, I, there's, there's, uh, there's... he could be in trouble. Oh no, he he Woodwin can just play a, his own bonsai. Yeah, but there's a possibility that Curly's army has Sure, sure, but then, but then Woodwin would just edict the censure, right? If he has it. Yeah. So instead of edicting, instead of edicting the bonsai, you just make your opponent have the have the censure. All right, fair enough. It is, it is, it is the second one, and there's still eight cards left in this forty-five card deck. So. That is that is very true. 
Wow, it is. Oh, it you is, see a wanderer uh, show up. It's so ballsy. Minimum effort. <laughs> and a supernatural storm. Oh my god. So yeah, that's that's exactly breaking. Oh what? And there's no, he's like count the score of eight worse than death now. Yikes. Least least amount of effort yeah, like, yeah. to just stop this. Wow. <laughs> and we see a guidance of the Oh yeah, yeah from the discard. From the discard. <laughs> I was a bounce side. Does he have the censure? 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 Joe, Joe, Joe from Cincinnati I says in he... chat, "This is what we call battling uphill." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, any battle against Scorpion is is a battle uphill because. Wow. Does, does Curly's army have the censure? No, he does not. So he's band size up to safe. Yeah, I don't see a world where he breaks this military. Not anymore, like he like, just spent so many buffs. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that, that, that is actually, might risk it, what? what? Does he have? He, oh, he can have another uh, my ancestor strength, but I guess you should have played that much earlier. No, it's the Ningyo. No, it's the Ningyo. Or oh, just plays the Ningyo into the conflict. Just straight up. All right, up so plays up by twelve. Woodwind needs another two. Woodwind doesn't have enough for Fate Worse than Death, by the way. He played no, the Wanderer he, he, with two. He used it all on the the Wanderer. Yeah. Wait, Woodwind didn't didn't kick the Bonsai. If we wouldn't kick the bonsai, this wouldn't this wouldn't matter. It would only be up by ten. Yeah. And then we wouldn't kick yeah. a win win air. There's no there's no, there's no uh, court here in this conflict. Can't for it can't, shame. It can't for shame. Yikes. Wow. I I think if does he have ambush? Yeah, yeah, no, he, he's he in the discard. Wow, ambush could have saved him. And that's <gasps> it. Oh shit! <laughs> that is what a final conflict. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I I can't imagine him not having a fate worse than Death Yan. Why didn't you? Why didn't he? Why did he play like, this Wanderer with one fate? Yeah. Why not just play like keep the options open? Like. Y yikes. Yeah, that's. He didn't kick the bonsai. All he did, was, he didn't. All he did was kick the bonsai and go to. He goes to one honor, and then he just goes air and wins air. You just send. You go political air against one of the face down provinces, which is meditations or manicured, and you automatically will win air. Yeah, and then you're up to three. Yes. Now, now we're gonna go talk to him about what happens with watching your own stream or having people you know watching the stream. We're, we'll have a talk. We'll have. We'll, he's gonna get a talking to. We'll. We'll. I'll have to go get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Uh. I kind of want to know what Woodwind had in hand. A forced edict. So that was red. A for shame. A court. Oh wow! Games. Woodwind's hand sucked. Wow, that was. A Wait, why didn't he hand. edict anything? Wow, he had two fate worse than death. Wait, him no, he had edict. Why didn't he edict 11? any of the buffs? I don't you know. You just edict any buff, and then you remove the dishonor status with your Soshi Illusionist. Yeah. What? Yikes. You could also just kick the Bonsai. You wouldn't die. Curlis had no cards in hand. All he had to do was kick the Bonsai! He would have easily won air and gone to three. No, uh, you, you know what? You know what? Yeah, but like... He looked at Curlis and see, see uh, where, one card in hand, and he goes like, "All right, there's like this should what, be what card in play. hand stops you from winning air." No, 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 no. I, I mean, nothing like that. I mean, I mean, I think the reason he didn't kick the Bansai was because he saw Curly's army had one card in hand and thought like, "All right, I've seen 
uh, Legions of Wands, both of them. I've seen the Banzai this conflict. There should be no military buff anymore from him because like he just forgot that he could have pulled Nininku again. I think that's pretty unexcusable. I think kicking the Banzai there is 100% a free roll and you should do it 100, 100 times out of 100 in that situation, regardless if, you're, if your opponent has one card in hand. You could go from a spot of can't possibly lose to lose. If you kick Banzai, you can't possibly lose. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, can't you're possibly right, lose, you can't possibly and lose. you can't possibly lose on the air crack back. So yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, I think I think kicking the bonsai is just there is no actually no no excuse not to kick bonsai there. Anyways, that was a sick game. I mean, I definitely definitely was, had a, had a good time casting it. <laughs> it was uh, the first time I've seen balls to the walls aggro prevail against. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, game. for sure. All right, well, I'm going to go head off. Everyone else, have a nice day. Uh, if there's more games, we'll be sure to bring them to you. Um, I'm going to post the YouTube playlist um, after I create it now, now that I have a game. Yes, he could. Yes, Akis, so. the dude had no fate. He had he has, th he has, th he has three fates, so if it's, the, if the last card... If it's the last card, you don't need to go air then, right? If you're scared of, dis of display, you can go fire... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Talon. I gotta talk to him. Akis, if you're that scared of, of uh, display, right, you just go fire, you honor your goblin sneak, and then if you get displayed, you use Soshi Illusionist to remove it. Sure, sure, sure. Sh sh that's what I'm saying. So he has three fate and a card in hand. Say say he kicks the bonsai there. You just, you just go fire. You go fire. Political fire. You go political fire with your, with your liar. Just your liar. At a face down province. Your your opponent doesn't defend, obviously. Build how do you lose if he goes air? If his if his look look at his board. His board is a dishonored keeper and honored keeper, a regular keeper against uh, an honored Kudaka and a and an, an illusionist. You're insane. You're insane if you think he loses to air. Look at the boards. Every, all all resources have been expended. My line is one hundred percent correct. There's there's no no way that my line is incorrect in this spot here. And even even if you would go into and find uh, uh, meditations with Kudaka, you're sort well, of Well, you know, like, you leave Kudaka okay, to defend. Because that's an extra owner. Woodwind has the court right, games in his hand, Kudaka too. To defend, you just go. So Woodwind can do oh, liar, yeah, attack, true. fire, court games, liar to honor it. Uh, again, Sly, what I'm saying is you go fire if if you're if if he keeps the one card in his hand with three fate, you just go fire instead of air. Sure, 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 sure. Obviously, air is incorrect in this spot here, it, because because he played the Ningyo. I forgot he had the fate in the Ningyo, so you just instead you just go fire. All right, well, that's...